So this is a pet cube play. It says, see, talk to, and play with your pet from your home. It's an interactive Wi-Fi pet camera. And this color is rose gold. I picked this up at the pet rescue party that I went to in Austin, Texas. Um, I got this from Pet Cube themselves. Here's the side of the box. It says, pet care from your phone. Check in on your pets and see what they're up to 24 seven. Play and exercise your pet with the built-in laser toy. Talk to and hear your pet with two-way audio. Snap pics and videos and share instantly. Get notified and know what's going on in your home. Never miss a moment again. Record video up to 30 days. Uh, then it says it has an app. Uh, you can get it on the Google Play Store and also on the Apple App Store. And here's what the other side of the box looks like. It's good for cats or dogs. And again, it says pet cube play, see, talk to and play with your pet from your phone. And then the other side of the box lists the features. It says stream 1080p HD video with 138 degree wide angle view. Two way audio with built in speaker and microphone. Night vision for low light and no light conditions. Sound and motion alerts to your phone. Certified safe laser for humans and pets. Auto play mode for the laser toy. Camera sharing options for family and friends. Compatible with iOS 8 and Android 4.0 or newer. Then it says in the box, pet cube play, switching power adapter, power cable, and quick start guide. Then on the bottom, it says all pictures on this package are artistic impressions of photographs taken in actual usage settings. Then it talks about the trademarks, uh, it's assembled in China, and then there's a little danger about the laser. Basically, don't spend a lot of time staring at it. Stella's sitting here and watching me. She must know it's something in there for her. Simba's sitting here too. They're both watching me. I have an audience. Okay, so let's open this and see what's inside. It's on here really tight. Yay, finally got it off. So this is what the front of the box looks like. Uh, I guess that's a diagram of the cube. It says install the pet cube app on a smartphone and register your account. That's number one. Two, plug in the pet cube play and connect it to your home Wi-Fi. Three, connect your pet cube play and start interacting. Then on this side, it tells you where to place it. It says placement, table, or shelf top. Pet Cube Play has a non-slip rubber bottom, which provides a secure grip on flat surfaces. The camera should be placed closer to the edge of the surface for a better viewing angle. Tripod. Pet Cube Play comes with a standard tripod screw mount on the bottom if you want height and angle flexibility by using a tripod. Then it says, we recommend you place the Pet Cube Play on a table or shelf that is at least three feet above the floor. Consider placing it in a location that allows for maximum coverage that can be seen through the camera's wide angle lens. It's always a good idea to point the pet cube play in the direction where your pets tend to spend most of their time. They were just wrestling. The minute I put the camera on them, they stopped. Okay, so here's the other side. Uh, it's the back of the pet cube. It also says night vision with night vision view in the dark flat USB-C cable. The flat USB cable is designed to stay firmly in place and is nine feet in length. What are you doing, Simba? Simba? Okay, so here's the fourth side. It says, at Pet Cube, we believe that humans should never have to be apart from their pets. So we came up with a great way to remotely stay in touch, interact, and play with our furry loved ones. It is our mission to improve the lives of people and their pets through technology. Okay, now let's read the fine print. It says, global community. We're one big community of pet lovers. Through the Pet Cube app, connect with pet lovers, meet pets of all shapes and sizes, and virtually play with real pets in the Pet Cube app community. 
If you want to get more involved with us, join the Pet Cube Ambassador Program. Rescue Advocates. We are major advocates of pet rescue and shelter organizations through our Pet Cube for Shelters program. We've been able to help organizations near and far by donating Pet Cube cameras and supporting adoption activities. That's very nice. Okay, so now let's open this box. I'm assuming the top just slides up. I could be wrong. Oh, it's taped. Okay, now the top should slide up. And here's the pet cube. So this is what the pet cube looks like, I would say. I don't know, it's maybe like four inches square. It's actually smaller than I thought it would be. Um, it's really nice texture. I love this rose gold color. It's kind of like a coppery color. Um, here's the tripod mount. And yeah, it is nice. It's rubber, it's textured. This is definitely should not slip. And then here's what the front looks like. Very nice padding and packaging. So what do they give us? They give us, I think these are stickers, petcube.com. And then there's some kind of tool. Can you see the tool? Oh, it's a reset pin, gotcha. Instructions on back. Use the pin to push the reset button on the bottom of the device. Okay, I guess if you ever need to reset it. And this is the start guide. It says get started. Um, and these are the same one, two, and three that were on the outside of the packaging. Install the app, uh, plug in the PetQ Play, and then connect the app. It says look for the LED light notifications. Yellow is startup loading software. Pulsing green is Bluetooth pairing mode. Green is Bluetooth connected. White is online standby mode when not in use. Pulsing white is pet cube care service is active recording video to the cloud. Blue is pet cube plays on someone is watching. Then we have some do's and don'ts. Uh, watch your pet, talk to them remotely, record videos and get notifications about your pet's activity. Share access to your pet cube play with friends, family or anyone within the pet cube network. Play with your pet using a safe built-in laser toy. Helps your animal stay fit and entertained. And it says don't. Don't drop, hit, or shake your pet cube play. Don't scratch or otherwise damage the front glass. Don't have prolonged direct eye contact with the laser beam. Don't use the pet cube play laser with other optics. Sometimes glasses and watches have magnifying properties. Don't point the laser at people. Do not use the laser to guide an animal in any direction that may cause harm to your pet, which includes windows, stoves, etc. Beware pointing the laser at fragile objects may encourage your pet to damage or break them. Pet cube play should not be used by minors without supervision from an adult. Don't expose pet cube play to liquid moisture, dust, excessive heat, or open flames. Protect the power cord from being walked on, pinched, or chewed on by pets. To avoid overheating, don't leave your pet cube play in direct sunlight. There's a lot of common sense here. And then they have the placement suggestions. Uh, and then they show you what is in the box. And that's it. So now here's the rest of what's in the box. We have the uh, USB cable. And then we have And then we have the power adapter. And that slides in like that. And this is the power adapter.